As you've probably heard by now, on April 8th there will be a total solar eclipse, the last one the contiguous United States will see until 2044. But what is a solar eclipse? It happens when the moon passes between the sun and earth, which casts a localized shadow onto earth. You might be wondering if this is the same as the eclipse we had last year, but last year's event was an annular eclipse. This happens when the sun isn't 100% covered, so there's still a glowing ring of fire. In this year's total solar eclipse, the moon will completely cover the sun, with the shadow being double the width of last year's and the duration lasting twice as long, around four minutes instead of two. So let's look at the path and the timing of the total solar eclipse. It stretches from Texas to Maine. The maximum in Dallas will be at 1.42 p.m., with the maximum in Buffalo around 3.20 p.m. In cities directly in the path, they'll actually be able to take their eclipse glasses off for this four minute period while the sun is completely covered. That won't be the case for the central coast. As you move away from the total eclipse path, the amount of sun covered decreases. Less than half of the sun will be covered for the central coast, which means we'll need to keep our glasses on the entire time. So when will be the best time to see it on the central coast? Well, the moon begins to cover the sun at 10, 11 a.m. And then the maximum eclipse is going to be at 11, 12 a.m. That's going to be the best time to see it. And you'll want to get out there while you can because the partial eclipse ends at 12, 16 p.m. I'm Holt Hanley for KSBW Action News 8.